Hello guys, Trevor here. Welcome back to my channel. Today I have a really special guest. He's been my friend for more than nine years now. Nine years. Hi everyone, my name is Arlindo Luciano and I'm from Angola. I'm actually living in Seoul and working for a small company here in Seoul as well. So Luciano and I, we were roommates in it's language school. Language school, that's yeah. right. We were roommates for like one year one in language year. school. Yeah. Today's video is for those who are interested in how you transition from a collect. Oh my god, <laughs> I just said some water. <laughs> so today's video is for all those who've been asking me how you transition from a Korean school into a Korean company, okay. specifically in engineering. <laughs> Why do you choose to come to Korea? Well, that's an interesting question because I, I didn't think of coming to Korea like when I was graduating from high school back in 2011 I was thinking of going to maybe Europe or United States of America to further my education but then I, I came to know that Korean government was giving scholarship so I applied for that and I got the scholarship and I was like well since I was going to do, uh, I was going to study electronics and communication engineering, that would be a nice place for me to you know to study. What is your current level of Korean language, and do you think it affected your chances of getting a job in Korea? Yes, it definitely uh, had me a very good chance of getting it because. For me, in my case, my major is electronic and communication engineering. You may know it very well, but yeah. doing business, like you uh, working for a company, it's also about how well you can communicate with the people you work with. So, my current level of uh, Korean language is, I would say, advanced. I, I got my topic, topic uh, five. Uh, uh, so, yeah, I mean... When you're in school, you focus on yourself as the student, but then when you're working in a company, you have to like work as a team you have to like work with your Korean colleagues and although some of them might be proficient in English but then especially for smaller companies most Koreans are not proficient in English at all if you study in a Korean school it's good that your level of Korean be at least advanced advanced yeah that's going to boost your chances of getting a job definitely. in Korea that's definitely true uh, what resources did you use to search for your job like was it online was it offline and yeah as I was still doing my uh, writing my thesis so I didn't have much time to go for uh, let's say job fairs I decided Decided to use online resources such as Saramin and is it Job Korea? Job Korea. And, uh, and then I basically uploaded my CV. I wrote down my resume. My resume. Yeah. My uh, yeah. In self uh, introduction and all those my uh, like academic qualifications, all those things. And then a headhunter. Is that that's how we call? It? Yeah, yeah. yeah headhunter. Head hunter. He called me, he calls me he's like, he was like, oh, there's this company, it's interested in you. And then, so he basically connected me to the company. And then that's how the process went until I got called by the company for the interview. The job searches in Korea mostly occur online. online yeah. And you have like, for me, I'd like to categorize those websites into three. You have like government, you have like college run websites, and then you have like general websites. So for general websites, you have jobs like uh, Job Korea, you have Saramin. Job Korea, Saramin, People and Job, Indeed, you have like LinkedIn. And according to my experience. Yes, tell us about you. <laughs> according to my experience, I mostly prefer using Job Korea. Job Korea. Yeah. All my friends who got like engineering jobs either got them through Saramin or through Job Korea. For me, my luck was in Job Korea. I uploaded my CV and this is something that I would urge all the students to do is just upload your CV and make it konge, konge mo ya? <clears throat> to publish like like yeah, make it public. Open. And in that way, I also received like calls from headhunters and one really good thing which helped me is one headhunter called me and he told me like oh man your cv is bullshit <laughs> like, <laughs> oh, really? yeah no but in a like a friendly way, a friendly he, way. Yeah. he was like man your cv is like bullshit <laughs> so he helped me to like curate my my oh, not my cv but my resume 
like yeah. for free i never paid him anything yeah. so you have like government websites cotra Seoul metropolitan government but my experience is most of these websites are looking for vietnamese or chinese oh, uh, workers really? people who have like f visas like they don't need any visa sponsorships and then lastly you have like college website uh the good thing about college websites is some jobs are only posted in some colleges they Ooh, yeah so you won't find the the postings anyway job searches for me it took such a long time it took me one year to get a job wow <laughs> yeah a really long time in between i was doing an internship so while i was doing the internship i was not like really seriously looking for a job, a job. how many companies did you apply for I can't remember, but they were a lot. Because I remember I applied for, let's say, more than 50. Yeah, I think mine were like 40. 40? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like a good That's it. <laughs> That's it. Like, honestly, it's really hard getting a job, especially your first job. Yeah. My, my second job was so easy. It just took a few months. But then my first job, oh my goodness, like no one wants to take in students with like zero experience, KPN, especially in my right. engineering company. That's right. Yeah. Did yes. you write your resume in Korean or in English? And if you wrote it in Korean, did you have like someone check it out? I wrote it in Korea. I didn't write it in English because I wanted to to tell them how much profiting I was in terms of Korean. I wrote it in Korean, everything in Korean, and then uh, lastly I gave it to somebody, a Korean friend of mine, who proofread it, then made some corrections. I wrote my resume in Korean. Of course I had like an English version. I was submitting the English versions to companies abroad, and my Korean resume, I was submitting it to like Korean companies. My advice would be, have your resume like in, on, in Job Korea, and when a company has a listing, some companies companies will just accept the resume from Job Korea. But Job Korea allows you to have like different versions of the resume. So like you can have like engineering resume from and then you can have like a business resume because I know some people graduate from engineering but they're not sure do I want to work in engineering or do I want to work in like technical sales. One thing that I uh, I realized that is common among those like Saramin and Job Korea when you upload in your resume online, it's like they have the almost the same structure, yeah, like same true. content. So I was just like copying it. <laughs> I just made one resume like in, in Saramin. Next question: How was your interview? Was it a group interview or was it uh, an individual Visual. interview? Did you have any exams? Yes, I got called by uh, three companies. In, in all of them, the interview were like, was individual. They, they gave me a lot of questions. Like they gave me, I, I can only remember that they gave me two technical questions, which I was, I did not <laughs> answer very well. <laughs> And they were like, well, from your academic, you know, qualifications and all those things, we see potential in you, and that's why we are employing you. I was like, okay, that's good. You're stupid, but we see potential in you. <laughs> I applied for like 40 jobs. I got a response from like two of them, and uh, they were calling you for interview. For interviews. I did like a group interview. Group interview? Yeah. Oh, so like yeah. in a group Korean interview. Oh my goodness. <laughs> so, oh, man, that's interesting. <laughs> so you're like 16 people in a room. Yes. And then you have like two or three interviewers. Yeah. And they ask the same question. For each one of For each one candidates. of you. The downside is if you have similar questions, like you won't stand out. The good thing about group interviews is you can gauge what other people are answering and you can just give like a better answer. One thing which helped me with my group interview was I was just courageous. You know, like Koreans, they memorize their answers. It's so, so, so perfect. Exactly. It's just so memorized. For me, I was just like chill. I woke up, went and I was just I was like, I, I don't have any experience, but I'm like a really good learner, yes. really quick learner. And just look at my Korean proficiency yes. and look at all these things that I did, which were not related to what I studied, but I learned them in a really short period of time. I think that's the point that made them to... Yeah, so they were like, like I, I, yeah. I, I guess. They were, yeah, they were impressed. Yeah.